Hello everyone, I'm Alicia Williams and today I'll be talking about the Distance Education Accrediting Commission. Specifically, I'll be discussing the um, accreditation standards related to technology. The purpose of this project is first to define accreditation, second to discuss the Distance Education Accrediting Commission or DIAC, and third, to discuss their technology standards that they have included in their accreditation standards. Accreditation is a voluntary quality review measure that institutions in higher education choose to pursue in order to demonstrate a commitment to quality assurance and quality improvement. Although it's a voluntary process, um, that institutions of higher education choose, accreditation is required for many types of funding. So the accrediting commission we are discussing is DIAC and this is the logo that was taken straight from their website. DIAC is recognized by the Council for Higher Education Accreditation and also by the U.S. Department of Education. It is a national career-related accrediting organization, which means that it operates throughout the country and it's specifically pro for programs that offer primarily distance learning programs. It's a national career, uh, it's a national accrediting organization as opposed to a regional accrediting organization, which would just um, operate within a specific region of the country and also distinctly separate from a programmatic accrediting organization which would operate um, throughout the country but would only review specific programs. DIAC was founded in 1926 and its mission is to uh, is assuring students high quality distance education through accreditation, peer review, and institutional improvement. DX accreditation standards set expectations for quality education and the integration of technology. They encourage innovation and the use of technology to assure graduates can compete in the 21st century global economy. In the remainder of this presentation, we will review those standards of accreditation that are specifically related to the use of technology. Before DIAC officially accepts an, accepts an institution's initial application for accreditation, the institution must demonstrate that it meets several eligibility criteria. The first three of these are that they must be able to show that they have formal enrollment of students and a way to keep records. They must hire qualified faculty and they also must be able to show that their curricula is supported by appropriate instruction and technology. And here you see the cover of the DIAC accreditation handbook. The first section where technology is addressed in DX accreditation standards is in Section 2, the Institutional Effectiveness and Strategic Planning. There are two core components in this section, the second of which is strategic planning, and specifically it says the institution's planning process involves all areas of the institution's operations, that's including technology, in identifying strategic initiatives and goals by evaluating external and internal trends for continued growth. At a mem minimum, the strategic plan must address finances, academics, technology, admissions, marketing, personnel, and st sustainability. DX Accreditation Standards Section 3, Program Outcomes, Curricula and Materials. Sec subsection C, Curricula and Delivery, also addresses technology. Specifically, it says that online materials sufficiently support the curriculum and are delivered using readily available, reliable technology. Also in Section 3, subsection I, Student Integrity, integrity and Academic Honesty. Um, technology is also addressed in this um, section of the standards. This is related to um, 
being able to verify that it is the student that is enrolled in the program who is taking the examinations online. And so for non-degree programs, it specifies that institutions must meet this requirement by using a secure login and passcode, administering proctored examinations, or by other means of a secure technology. And then for degreed programs, they must meet those same requirements, but also uh, a de degree granting institution must also administer proctored examinations through appropriate inter intervals through the program study. DX accreditation standards section four, educational and student support services also addresses, uh, addresses the use of technology its core components here in Section A, appropriate technology, specifies that the institution must use technology that is appropriate and readily accessible. And this is to facilitate um, the most optimal interaction between the university or the institution and the learner uh, in order to enhance the instructional uh, and educational experience. It also specifies that students and faculty must be involved in training and support for te the technology used to deliver the educational um, offerings. In Section 6, Academic Leadership and Faculty Qualifications, Section C, Dealing with Instructors, Faculty, and Staff, technology is addressed from the standpoint point that it uh, specifies that faculty and instructors must be screened for appointment and that they must be um, properly and continuously trained on, among other things, the use of instructional technology. The final section where technology is addressed is in Section 9, Financial, financial Disclosures, Cancellations, and Refund Policies. Under core components, Section A, financial, financial disclosures, uh, technology is addressed from the standpoint that um, the cost of all technology access, among many other things, many other costs uh, that the student would incur uh, during the course of their education, must be disclosed to all prospective students. Okay, so let's summarize what we have discussed in this presentation. First of all, we discussed accreditation and the fact that it is a voluntary process that institutions of higher education go through in order to demonstrate their commitment to academic excellence. Then we discussed DIAC and um, I gave a brief overview of what DIAC is, uh, including its mission and the fact that it is a national um, accrediting commission that specifically deals with institutions that primarily provide distance learning and their mission is to provide a high quality distance education. Then we talked about the different sections in the accreditation standards that deal specifically with technology. Uh, we talked about um, how in order just to apply uh, and make initial application for accreditation, that an institution must be able to demonstrate that their curricula are supported by adequate technology. We talked about um, technology's role in the strategic planning and how the um, institution would be required to have uh, to address technology in their strategic planning. We discussed curricula delivery and, the ac and academic integrity and how technology is an important part of that as part of the standards um, that the use of technology uh, is an important part of uh, demonstrating academic integrity. And we talked about the importance that the standards place on faculty training when it comes to technology and also the requirements that the standards have for financial disclosure to students regarding the expenses of technology.
And here are the references where you can access the handbook, which is the location of the standards that were copied into this presentation. And thank you all for listening.